Hey Butterfly Beauty, so I am I'm back today. I'm going to do a Michaels haul and just a little bit of chit chat, so bear with me. Uh, hopefully the lighting is okay. It's pretty late. I think it's almost past midnight or almost midnight here where I'm at. Um, May has been a pretty busy month for me, so May 4th was my birthday and on the 7th that saturday was my grandson's first birthday so we went to the houston zoo so we drove to houston so that's about three hours from where i live uh, so we had a really good day on that particular day awesome we were actually matching it wasn't planned it just what i ended up putting on for the day um and last week i had surgery so um it's been a last Thursday. Yeah, last Thursday I went and had surgery to take care of some health issues I was having. So hopefully after all this recovery time um, that I will be quote unquote um, normal or back to somewhat healthy. Um, that type of thing. Thank you to all of those who um, follow me on Instagram who wish me well. Um, I received a card from Chandrika it was the loveliest card for well wishes it had a, a really awesome prayer it really touched me I teared up I can be very emotional y'all so um just that she thought about me to um send me a card to my post office box and uh the card was more than just a card it was a prayer for my speedy recovery uh, so I will be out of work for several, several weeks since I had major surgery. And right now I'm just feeling very restless. Um, I'm doing okay. I'm making it every day. Uh, I think uh, for today was my actual grandson's birthday party, even though his birthday was on the 7th. So his birthday party was today at the park. Um, so that was good times. Uh, I appreciate all those folks who came out for his birthday as well. And right now I just can't sleep. Um, I'm probably going to take a pain pill here because I'm not in severe pain, but I'm a little uncomfortable, but you know, I'm a mom, so we're a G gangster sometimes. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of an update on what's been going on with me. Uh, again, just a busy month, birthdays, my birthday, my grandson's, and I had surgery last week. So I'm trying to recoup. I did say on Instagram, I will be good, get some rest. And again, it's been a week. Um, so I've been basically sleeping the whole time in and out of bed, trying to, you know, do a little bit of walking back and forth from my room to my front door. You know, just trying to get my body moving and um, healing. So yeah, so that is what I really just kind of wanted to tell y'all. So let's get into the haul. So you're probably like, well, how in the hell do, are you doing a haul and you just had surgery? So I love my friends. I really do. I love my friends because everyone was all uh, posting all the recollections, new planners and all this kind of stuff. And I swear the day that they did that was on Tuesday, last Tuesday. Something it was like the Tuesday, the same week I had surgery. Yeah, so last Thursday I was a I had surgery. Um, so Tuesday and Wednesday I went to Michael's after work, trying to see if I can find one the infamous washi and the recollections planner. But of course my Michael's always be tripping. So I was like, if they don't have it Wednesday, I'm gonna be just ass out because I'm going into surgery Thursday. I can't be doing jack right. So, um. Earlier this week, so I basically was in the hospital surgery Thursday. They released me on Friday. Thank you, Lord, because they were going to try to keep me um, because they were trying to do a blood transfusion um, because I'm severely anemic on top of that. So, it, you know, thank you, Lord. It worked out. I didn't have to do that. So I was released on Friday, late afternoon. Basically, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, I was out. Tuesday, out. Wednesday, out. Um, Thursday, I was a little bit more to it, and so I was, um, telling my best friend, I was like, oh my gosh, everybody's posting on Instagram and stuff, because, like, when I would wake up, that's basically all I could do is watch YouTube, and, um, I'm really more on my Instagram, and I was like, they have all this stuff, and I can't go, and I don't know what's going on, so my best friend was like, what is it that you're looking for? You know, again, she appeases me just to listen, so I sent her photos, and she went... To Michael's for me and 
picked up my stuff. I'm like, that's why we have technology, y'all, because you have photos, you have PayPal, you can send your friends money and stuff. So that is why I am doing a haul because my bestie loves me and she went to Michael's for me um, with armed with photos and she's not a shopper, y'all. So when she got to Michael's, she's like, is this, is this, it doesn't look for this. So I was trying to really kind of tell her where to go, but she went to her Michael's, which is um, on the other side of town, if you will. So I'm not familiar with their layout. So I was really trying to work it out um, being awake <laughs> to show her the stuff. So enough of that rambling. That's how I'm able to haul y'all. Did not go to um, Michael's or anything of that nature. I sent photos and my bestie went shopping for me. And I PayPal'd her the money. So some of the things that um, she picked up for me is one is the black tassel. And the black tassel is the one that you've all seen that has the camera and the gem. So I just really just like the tassel because I have several different planners at this point now. So I'm going to bling them out. And remember, I did a haul because I wanted to learn to make some tassels. So I want to make some. But, you know, if it's an epic fail in making a tassel, I have some that are already made. Uh, as you guys know, these were, I think these are $3.99 for these. And then $4.99 for the stickers. Or it was $4.99 for the tassels and $3.99 for the stickers. Something like that. You've seen 50,000 videos of these recollection planners and stickers and such. Um, so I'm not showing you really anything new. I wanted to really get a lot of the black and gold stuff. So uh, you have the stickers that you've all seen in the black, white, and gold. And um, it is really good. 212 pieces. When I say really good because I like Kate. So my Kate Spade planner to have kind of that more classy sort of look, if you will. Um, although she keeps mostly basically all the divas. But I'm going to be rehauling how I use my um, planers so I can see that um, my um, flash has gone out but hopefully you can still see really well so I'm going to be rehauling how I'm going to work my planners because Kate I think is going to have a new purpose Um, here you have the I just had to have this one because of this bubble this sticky note this sticky note is giving me life like this sticky note is like everything so i really love this one as well but it was just the ombre rainbow effect that's really bright very playful so this one i'm going to i was going to put in my kiki k but the more i look at it i think this one um will probably make its home somehow into my be bright happy planner or at least take out some of these and put it in my be bright happy planner and then put the others in one of the kiki k's or uh, something um, or the Webster pages because I got to figure out how to use it or it'll just be put up for now then of course there is the calendar uh, so I wanted again to go with the black and white and the gold and I like my best and she was like all I see is these um, the water color or no, she didn't say watercolor waterfall black waterfall something but she didn't or ocean Thing. And I was like, it looks like marble. And so she sent me the picture back like this one. I was like, yes, I don't know what you were calling it, but this is the right one. But uh, so it's undated, as you all know. It, these, This is what it looks like in the back. And I'm not going to take it out the pack because, again, you've seen like 50,000 videos um, with that. Now, if you haven't and you follow my channel and you're like, Liz, I haven't seen a video that really shows it or really shows it up close the way I like to see it, just leave me a comment below and you know I have no problem in showing you. I like detailed vo videos that show me um, a little bit more than just the back so I can actually see it. And when I was looking at this, this is what I'm used to. Like I'm looking at this for um, Kate because she's a personal size planner so the holes do fit in your Kate Spade very nicely. Um, so if you, if nothing, you don't have to buy yourself a recollections planner. If you have a Kate Spade um, that has the six hole punch and you want to just update your dividers or just have those there as backups, you know, when you want to, and you're not making your own, this is a really great set to have. Um, my girl Galena basically was doing that with her. So she let me know it fit in Kate and that's what made me go on the hunt Tuesday and Wednesday before surgery. So yeah, again, if you want to see a better close up look of this, just leave me a comment below. And then um, when I saw the book, it's a personal size planner, right? But when I looked at all the videos, I don't know what I was thinking. I guess my mind just, I'm going to blame it on the drugs. 
I was assuming this was a little bit bigger, um, but really in the grand scheme of things, the book is the right size. This fits perfectly. Again, the sheets fit in your Kate Spade, your personal size planner. So if your personal size planner is basically the same size as a Kate Spade, so maybe like the Kiki K Paws, the small um, planner, maybe the Webster Pages Color Crush personal size um, planner should have the six ring binder as well so that should fit so I wanted to make cool stuff because it has just all just the black sheets because I've seen some people on Instagram like do the planning with the black sheets and so I was like that's cool um have no idea what I'm gonna do with it I don't even have the appropriate pins if you guys can remind me what kind of pins that I'm supposed to buy to write on here so you can see it but it's probably gonna be more just for um saying I have something Cool. I like the black pages for Kate as well, just to have some black pages in it. The Everyone's in love with, of course, the gold foil on the binding and on the page itself. And um, we all know, some people are like, well, why would you put this in your planner? I never thought about putting this whole stupid book in my planner. What makes this great that it's in a booklet is that it's great for storage. So if you have a Rascock Ikea um, utility cart, it's a good way to store all of them without having the loose sheets of paper or trying to keep your mailer that it came in or the plastic you know that it came in. You rip out as many pages that you need. It's an easy rip because it is glue bound. Um, and then store the rest. And then when you need some more, pull it out. So that made sense to me as to why it's in the book. So how some people are just like, why would you put the whole book in there? I'm like, I never, never thought about putting the whole book into the binder. So then with that being said, um, I also went with a keeping the black and gold theme is the black and gold washi. So it has the really thick washi that's here. And so it has the be wild, hello, etc. It's a really good. You can cut out the pieces, put it in squares, has a number. So we've all seen these a while. So this is the infamous black and white, uh, black, gold, and silver washi. I just had to have this. I was so excited that she was able to find it. The one that I want and I cannot find right now is a tea party. And I'm not super into pink, y'all. But somehow, some way, getting into planner, pink and gold and mint has been been coming my thing lately um so i am on the lookout for the tea party washi really want the tea party washi but y'all i'm also on a budget i just had to pay for surgery and all kinds of stuff so i am not trying to um there's some folks on instagram like hey i found the tea party washi and you they want to you know sell it to you either for double the price or um, i'm i'm all about people making their money and getting their hustle on but i'm trying to get it at my discounted coupon price uh i i'm basically like that i'm like if i find it you want it i'll send it to you you just got to pay for the shipping like literally if i if this is $19.99 and we use a 50% off coupon, I got it for $10. bucks. i am like, send me my $10 bucks in the taxes and the shipping, and I'm sending it to you. Like, um, But I haven't found anybody like that yet, so oh well. And then here we go with the binder. So you're probably like, you need another um, planner? No, I don't. But I wanted to get something that was not black. And the photos that I saw, it really looked like a deep cobalt blue. This is not a deep cobalt blue. So they have, I know the camera may sh show that it's darker, but it's really not that dark. And so I was a little sad with that, that it's not um, a deep blue. Okay, bear with me, y'all. Uh, so it's it's not a deep blue, but it's nonetheless it's a pretty blue. It's a blue that I definitely don't have in any of my planners because all my planners go with the mint color or turquoise teal color because you know that's my color, teal, black, and white. I'm all about it. So um, I got the blue. I had her pick up the blue one for me, and I told her if the blue wasn't there to get the pearl essence pink one because I would have went with that because my original Kate Spade was pink. And the cabaret pink one, but the rings were not tight. So I had to take them back. And then I went to like three or four of them in the store and they weren't. I'm like, for the price of that, you're not about to give me no raggedy um, planner without tight rings. So I ended up uh, having to exchange it for a black one because the black one was the only one that had the tight rings. So that was the backstory on that. So I, I picked that one up. So um, again, you've all seen m many of videos about it. So it tells you about the 40 pieces and people are just like, it's not 40 pieces. I mean, come on, it's advertising people. And that's how they get us for almost everything that we have. It is 40 pieces because they're counting 36 pages. It is what it is, right? Um, so here we are with the pockets. So it does have the pockets in the secretarial pocket like a Kiki K. Um, they said that it's really not deep pockets. It's more of a credit card pocket. And I guess that's true. Um, 
I was trying to see if I had something right here, but I don't have something that is like a credit card to, to kind of show you. So you can make this like your wallet. A lot of the ladies are um, keeping or buying these as well because they can make this their travel planner because it will fit in your purse. Most of us are using big purses. Most of us are not walking around with a clutch. But it's, you know, even if you don't have a super large purse, a purse at least to fit this, um, you're good to go. I like that it does have the snap closure. I do like that it has the um, pin loop. It's not elastic. It's not a big deal. Find a pin that you really do like that fits in it. Um, because, of course, like if you're using the Dollar Tree gem pin like this here, it's not going to um, fit because it's super skinny. So when I say it's not going to fit, it's because it's super skinny, so it'll fall through. And, of course, it's not falling through here because it still has a tag on it. So it would go all the way to the... Um, bottom to where you have it here so it might have the overlay just find a pin that you like the way it writes that fits in there and fits in there nicely i mean we have a lot of stuff in our planner stash and stuff there is a pin i guarantee you that you love to write with that will fit here that will not give you drama so sometimes we just make things more than what it is of course you know it has the three tabs which i do like um then of course the additional uh, sheets of paper and y'all this is how weak i am i can't get this plastic off okay all right so you know you have the to-do list which you've all seen i do like this to-do list they have the grid paper i've never been a fan of grid paper don't get it um but i have to use it like in my happy planner because it has an extra page we're not about to waste it so i'm i make checklists like for my um, grandson's birthday party make sure we had everything so i'm gonna use it the to-do list i do like the look of this so i'm gonna see um I like the look at the top. I'm not the numbers 1 through 20. I'm not a fan. It just makes me feel like I'm a failure if I don't have 20 slots or if I have 10 slots listed and um, I don't finish them all. It's just because I see the number. Regardless of if I wrote 10 things down, I'm just weird that way. I can write 5 things down, 10 things down, but if I don't number them, I feel less anxious about it if for some reason it doesn't get done. And usually that happens with things that personal. When it comes to work, I got to get it done because if you don't get it done, you don't get paid, right? So that's the stuff that my bestie went to Michael's to get me, but then... Um, my family, after much crying and carrying on, um, also went and got some things for me at Michael's. So here are the things that I got from Michael's, which they did not have when my bestie went, which was I was looking for the gold pouch. I want, of course, the gold pouch for this planner here for the Recollections one. And it's a simple, it's not like it's a lot of space. And I don't expect a, a pouch for a personal size to have a whole lot of space. Now, there is one. There was a cloth one that's on Etsy that's absolutely beautiful that you can do that I'm sure it will fit more um, in it. For sure, it will fit more. But I don't plan to put a whole lot of stuff because it is a personal size planner, so you don't want to jam pack it. So I've got two of them because one for this one and then one for Kate. So Kate will appreciate this. And then um, the tassels. I just love the tassels. So I was like, give me all the tassels. So the tassels that I got were the pink one with the pineapple, the blue one with the anchor. And again, my daughter has me in love with anchors just because um, she really likes that theme for my grandson. And I just kind of go with it. And then the gold tassel with the hearts. And then I had to get the pink one with the bows because I really do like the bows. So I have to figure out who's going to get what. Uh, I do believe that Kate will stay with the black, which came from my Bessie buying those items. So here are all the tassels that I now have. I don't have the white one. Yeah, I don't have all of them. So I think I'm missing the mint green one and the white one. Uh, maybe there's another one after that, but I have the black, the, this, uh, the pearlescent pink, which was going to be the one that I was going to get if the blue was not at the store that she was at. The hot pink, of course, the blue. And see, and the blue does look darker than the blue here. But when you're putting them on the camera, it looks like a cobalt blue, but it's not a cobalt blue, y'all, I promise. It's, it is a blue, but it's not cobalt blue. It's, and she called it sky blue. It's not that light of a blue, but it is um, a light blue. And then I picked up uh, this notepad because I thought it was really cute again the holes are over here but it's mostly to put it in the back of that planner again keeping the black and gold and white theme going but um I've also thought about um 
Kate getting this. And more than likely, Kate will be the one to get this. But we'll see. And then um, they picked me up another one of these. Uh, oh, actually, no. They picked me up the wrong one. Okay. So I got the sketch one. And y'all, I can't draw. Mm -mm. Um, but it has really cute flowers. So I'm not lovely. Lovely. So this is for you to sketch doodle. So I may just use this to test out stamps and stuff. Um, because in a lot of the subscription box that I get, they are giving you... Um, stamps in them so I can stamp here and do that type of thing because I cannot draw whatsoever um, maybe if I want to cuss somebody and I am in a meeting maybe I should put some of these and this will be where I'll doodle that they're getting on my damn nerves and um, help me keep my facial expressions because my mouth will tell you really nice things but my face is telling you you can kiss my whole entire ass so I might uh, that's how I might use that <laughs> so I can doodle when I'm in locations where people are pissing me off and because doodling does ease my mind and keeps my facial expressions together because like I said my mouth will be super nice to you but my eyes are telling you what you could do for me I'm drinking a Sprite yeah it's not the best thing I need to be drinking a protein shake but it is what it is I did pick up the um, have them pick up the journal one, so I like has enjoy the journey here. So you can again make this into a dashboard, make it a shaker dashboard if you want. Um, so all kinds of things that you could do with it. So it just has the date, um, what you learned today, what I'm grateful for today. So that's what each page is. Each page is one page is uh, the date, and then here if you can see that, let's focus. Uh, what I'm grateful for today, a little line for that. And then here, what says what I've learned today. So this one's actually pretty good. I want this more for work um, as well. So that has another little divide to collect memories, not things. So in this one, it does the same thing. It doesn't change because many of them change. I didn't get the spiritual book because it wasn't available. So I wish it was. Live a great story is this one. Sorry if it was out of focus. So this this one. So you have a lot of dashboards basically in this one. And again, pull your pages out. Put in what you need and store the rest. Got the menu planning one because I want to cheat. So probably tomorrow. Um, I will again try to keep myself from walking. And get myself walking on that menu planning book. And so really from the menu planning book is what I like that they had showed in other videos was this page because this my family and I were bad for this the fridge inventory so when I say what I'm gonna do tomorrow I'm gonna see about um, copying this page on my um, printer and see how it comes out copied if not I'm gonna have to get another one of these so your pantry inventory your fridge inventory this is really good um, and more so um, my mom does a lot of the shopping too but you know that way we can have an inventory because she'll say do we have this and it's usually something of something I may eat a lot of or something um, my grandson eats a lot of or we'll have a lot of something and we end up wasting a lot of like canned foods because we're like man that expired like two months ago because we keep rebuying instead of bringing the older item first using that and then you know going we just kind of like hey I don't remember we had this just go ahead and get it so we need to stop doing that and then, um, as you know, your five favorite meals, your five uh, favorite meals for the month, month. And this will be really great because my daughter is really great about doing um, Pinterest meals. And they turn out really great. So I like that. So easy dinner ideas. And so she was like, yeah, we should get this one because she's all down for um, going back to meal planning. Because we used to do meal planning. And we fell off on that. So she would cook dinner. So we would sit on Sunday or Saturday night, but mostly it was on Sunday, figure out what it was that we needed, go to the grocery store. We had our whole list, so she knew Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday what she was making, or we were skipping a day, or whatever it was. Um, I like the weekly menu planning as well, because it's breakfast, lunch, dinner, but it's not so much of what, for breakfast, lunch, dinner, I may use that to copy to say what I ate for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, a lot of times I may plan what I'm going to eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It doesn't work that way. The only thing that when we were menu planning, it did stay the same was dinner dinner generally stayed the same and then the um, other thing that I wanted was the stamps so because it is undated and y'all know I cannot I don't like undated planners it's just too much work for me to write the dates in I guess because my handwriting is not all that great 
and I just I feel some type of way about it so the sticker book that I wanted that had all the dates um, was not there so they were able to find the 72 piece stamp set so in the 72 piece stamp set this is a really good to me in my opinion a good stamp set if you don't own any stamps and you kind of want to see it stamping is something that you want to do it's not like this is like fantastic ink or anything but it's a good starter set I mean it gives you black ink it gives you the uh, small acrylic block that you can use and it's long because of the long um for the lines that are here but then you have every single date that fits into your undated planner so you don't have to write it it still can have a very uniform very nice um look so it keeps it neat if you don't write well or if you write big and you can't write in these little bitty boxes because when you try to put in little bitty boxes like you're squeezing you know a person who wears a size 26 into a size 4 you're like what the hell you know so you're not trying to do that so I like that. And then, of course, you have all your icons. So your mail, your shopping cart, laundry. And many of these I do use and many of them I don't. So I really just want it for the mail, incoming, receiving, um, the eating, and do today, remember. So this will help with bills, checklists if you want that. So the glasses, the martini, the scissors for haircuts, paydays, movies. Um, so, you know, it has a lot of cute things but they're small enough to fit into the space in a personal size planner um so if you're on your no buy and you're just like running low on stickers which i don't know many planner girls who are low on stickers or you're like hey i want to get into pretty planning but i'm not trying to go crazy like the rest of these girls get yourself if you can get your hands on one get this and this is a great starter for you so really if this was 8.99 i want to say the um, planner itself was $19.99, but um, get it when you have a 50% off coupon. If nothing else, you don't want to wait for the 50 to roll around. Use your 40% off. You use your 40% off, it'll be like $11.99. Then you have the $8.99. And if you're close by Michael's, let me tell y'all about budgeting this. If you work across the street, Michael's is literally two blocks, three blocks up from my job driving. It's five minutes of that. Um, it's basically the lights is what's keeping me from it. If you have a Michaels that's that close that it's not an inconvenience and you're being all crazy with driving and gas, make separate purchases. And most of the time, Michaels, they don't trip like Hobby Lobby. Go in there and say, I want to make two separate purchases. Use your 40% for the planner. Use your 40% for your um, stamp. Or if they get someone's like, no, you can't do that. They can't stop you from coming in multiple times. So like I would have, if I was at work, I would have went in the morning and bought this with my coupon and then I would have went um, maybe during my lunch and I would have bought this with my coupon and then after work I may have gone and bought myself one of the books that I really need because it's over there by my job all the time so I know that might sound a little crazy to some but if it's not far it's not something like you're like I have to drive 30 minutes every single time to go to it then it's not to me worth it because of the gas and time and effort but it's up the road from you across the street. Many of us have them um, are close by to work. So if it's something that's close by to work, make, you know, more than one trip in a day. So you can use a coupon each and every single time because you're saying $11.99. If I do this at 40% off, this is $8.99 originally. So that's what, like six, uh, $5.99 it would be, right? So then we're looking at, again, 12 bucks. Seven bucks, so you're looking twelve, seven, nineteen, and then this was I want to say four ninety nine. So you're getting it forty percent off. You're gonna get it like um, two ninety nine, so three dollars. So right here, you're looking at about twenty two dollars, right? Twenty two dollars before taxes, and you have like a complete like set. Or, uh, not a complete set, but at least you have something to start with if you're looking for that. But, you know, the better bang is for you to go and buy these three things. So this is $9.99, right? And you get the 40% off. So you'll get it for $7.99 or $6.99, so basically 7 bucks. So, again, you're looking at $12 on a 40% off. You're looking at... Um, like $6 on the 40% off. So we're looking... Um, or was that 7 so something like that. So let's say twelve, and we'll say it's seven for this on the six dollars for this on the forty percent off. So then we're looking at the eighteen bucks. Then we're looking at this for another seven bucks on the forty percent off. 
So we're looking at about $25. So for $25, you have a complete set for you to do pretty planning. You're just going to be doing your planning with stamps instead of stickers. Use this up until you, you can go and save up and get yourself then the pretty stickers. You know what I mean? So just kind of think about how you want to spend it um, because you don't have to go crazy like the rest of us because I'm, I'm crazy about it. So... I'm just keeping it real, just letting you know. You can still have pretty planning. You don't have to break the bank, even though many of us were in enablers and we tell you about going to spend your money. The one thing I did not see people haul was this, and these are tabs. So there are 16 pieces in here. So they had this one, and then they had the pink, um, the watercolor looking one, the one that everyone has in pink and mint green planner. They had that one, uh, but I only wanted this one. So the black and gold, I wasn't feeling the other ones. Or no, it wasn't pink. It had like more floral and I just wasn't feeling it. So this is what I picked up. These tabs, don't know how I'm going to use them, but I'm like, I can always use tabs to um, trace and do all that good stuff or at least measure, get measurements and make some more on my Cricut. And then um, these are black and white polka dot um, treat bags. And these treat bags were on clearance for 50 cents or 79 cents, something like that, or maybe 99 cents. Somewhere from between forty nine cents and ninety nine cents uh, for the for these, and I'm going to make like a uh, flip book using this bag for my um, sister in law, and I'm going to put some recipes in there that my mom makes. So because um, she's called us a couple of times about um, some dishes that my brother loves and how to make it, so I'm going to put them on, um, make her like a flip book and put some of those recipes in here. So that is the crafting plan while I'm here um out on leave due to surgery so I'm gonna just craft a little bit sleep a little bit walk from my room um to the door a little bit as I gain strength and um, do all that good stuff I have a follow-up appointment uh this week so hopefully my blood levels are good and I don't have to hear any more about doing any type of transfusions or any other kind of drama um so yeah uh, this video was kind of long, but I did tell you it was a haul and a chit chat, even though it wasn't a lot of stuff. I just kind of wanted to say, hey, what's up? I wanted to also say welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining my channel. I do need to get my life together. I said that like three or four or five videos. Um, maybe I will be able to gather some of those things up together this week as to what will be in the giveaway and how I will work that giveaway for having the 200 subscribers because now I'm over the 200 subscribers. If I get to the 600, 700 subscribers, I will buy Happy Planner and I will give that away. And that would be nice to get there by July so that you can have it when the um, new year, the new happy planner year starts, if that makes sense. So in July, when we're all dying to get into that, to start using our new, our second edition happy planners. So if I get to that by July, definitely you're going to have that um, when it starts in July. If I don't get to it in July, you'll still get one. And whenever it, um, I make that number uh, you'll get it and you'll start with that whatever that month is it'll be brand new spanking just for you um happy planner i'll choose the one um that i like it'll either give you the one of the ones that i already have the make every day count or i'll give you the sister to her um of the make